This came for you, your credit card, final demand. Oh, right. You said you'd paid it, Carl. Yeah, yeah, I thought I had. You know how much they club you for interest? I'm going to the bank later, I'll put it in for you. Uh, I'll see to it. Hey, if you're having a party, don't forget our invite. Oh, mate, uh, Christmas boxes for the contract customers. They drink, we drive. Well, to be honest, I might just sit there and drink them all myself. Why don't you come to us? You what? Yeah, be good that still, eh? Lloyd, Christmas Day? <laughs> I'm sure Lloyd sees enough of your ugly muck at work without having to look at it on Christmas Day. Oh, charming. What do you think, bud? No brainer, right? Oh, look, mate, it's a really kind thought, but. Stella, tell him we insist. Look, I'll, I'll think about it, all right? <gasps> Stop hassling him, Carl. Listen, I wonder if there's uh, any chance of me putting in some extra hours. Of course, when? Well, as soon as. I mean, I'll still do tonight, but. A double shift? Yeah, yeah, if I'm gonna buy uh, something special, I need all the hours I can get. Sort it, mate. Cheers, you're a pal. Egg with brown sauce. Tar love. How could have done you some minute? Well, you were busy. Can I get you something? Oh, just a black coffee. Oh, I need to five minutes away from that pub. <laughs> oh, you're still okay to help me deliver this morning? No, sorry, love. I can't. Lloyd's asked me to work. One of the lads has called in sick. Oh, talking to Lloyd. What were you doing asking him for Christmas? Well, the poor bloke's at rock bottom. He's going to be on his own. Yeah, but it's a family, isn't it? Yeah, and he ain't got a family. Well, he's got other friends. Like who? Steve? He'll be loved up with Tracy, and seeing as Lloyd and Tracy don't get on. <sighs> well, you could have asked me first. Thought you'd be well up for it. I mean, you and him have been right bosom buddies this past week. Hiya. Hiya. Um, I don't suppose you've seen Peter this morning, have you? Oh, no, sorry. Can I get you something, Liam? No, sorry, thanks. You right, love? I need a bacon butter when you're ready. Leanne? Peter's still not turned up? No, and he's drinking. I seen coming out of Dev's with a bottle of vodka. Oh. When was this? Uh, last night. Not seen or heard anything since. Well, I'm off out of a cab in a minute. I'll uh, keep an eye out. Oh, thanks. Tell Lloyd to mention it to the other cab drivers. Yeah, they will do. Everyone knows Peter. Come and sit down for five minutes, eh? Yeah. See ya. Frank all the hospitals but no joy. If he'd had an accident, they would have contacted you. Yeah, but you hear about drunks being mugged all the time, don't you? What if all his stuff's been taken out of him? He's badly hurt. Does he know what he's putting you through when he goes off like this? Every time he says it's going to be the last until the next. Oh, sweetheart. If there's anything I can do. I wish there were. Thanks, anyway. Yeah, and then on the 340... Donny lad, 25 quid each way. That's it. Cheers, mate. Carl, pick up on the high street by the precinct, name of Hudson. Yeah, OK, I'm on my way. Come on, mate, get a wiggle on, will you? Lloyd. Hi. Christmas. I had no idea, Carl. I could do that. You cannot be there, Lloyd. You've got to make some excuse. Oh, you brought up. I will, I will. You're bound to get suspicious when he sees the way we are around each other. And if we're stuck together at Christmas... No, you're right. Look, it's, it's not a problem. It will be when we find out what happened last week. A big problem. <laughs> That's a fair pick-up. Uh, Park Road, by the name of Draper. Ah, just the man. Listen, about Christmas. Oh, yeah, all good. No need to bring anything. Well, Prezi for Stella would be nice. Um, well, no, look, I've, I've had a call. Uh, my Auntie Sheila uh, from Toxteth, she's on her own, so I said I'll go over there. Lloyd, I'm not stupid. I do know what's going on here, you know. <laughs> you're trying not to impose. Well, no. Oh, no, please. I... I'll tell Stella you're coming. Brilliant. Carl. Not another word. That's what makes it for. Three cars. Yes, Mrs. Butterworth. Uh -huh. He's feeling very sorry for himself and very guilty. Well, I ran in Weatherfield General again, still nothing. Means the flying horse has not been there, apparently. Oh, what am I going to tell Simon? I'm supposed to pick him up. Peter's meant to be taking him to see Santa. You want me to come with you? Oh, would you? Of course. Right, thanks. Um, I'll just go and grab my stuff and I'll meet you back at yours. We'll let you know if we hear anything. Right, I'll see you. I'll see you. Hiya. Hiya. The rover not returned, then? I don't know how we can do this to Leanne. 
Well, she's not his true love, though, is she? I mean, the battle will always come first. Anyway, you'll be pleased to know that Lloyd has agreed to come to us for Christmas. Oh! Smashing. Yeah, he was dead chuffed when I asked him. Gonna buy us a drink later to say thanks. Look, I had no choice. He railroaded me into it. You're gonna have to get out of it near the time. Listen, I've had 12 grandmas die on me. I'll think of something. I gave you plenty of time to prepare. He's a very persuasive fella. Oh, I can just see you at school. Dog ate your own work, didn't it? I had a mate whose dog actually did eat his own work, and no one believed him. <laughs> Lloydy boy! No. Oh, don't let me interrupt. There's something brewing here. Pardon? My antenna is twitching. Stella, pour us a pint, love. I'll get this shot, Stella, on your own. No, I'll pay for my own drink, thanks. Don't be rude, Carl. So, what were you talking about when I interrupted? Homework. Northern Soul. You seem to disagree. <laughs> Both. Look, I had a mate whose dog genuinely ate his own work, and none of the teachers would believe him. He had, he had a brother who was big, <laughs> down, down where you appear. Uh, that's where the Northern Soul bit came up. Ah, very good. You left the mic open on the switch this afternoon. I heard the two of you talking. This is brewing up nicely. Stop staring. You look like you'd rather die than come round for Christmas dinner. Now I stumble across you inventing conversation. Uh, look, something awkward happened last night. Oh, time. Lloyd. I know what's going on. Uh, no, you don't. I made a pass at Stella. Did what? She wanted none of it, obviously. The whole thing was mortifying. So there you go. She came round to warn me about Christmas, told me not to accept the invitation. Look, Stella's done nothing wrong. Mate. This is all down to me. Don't make a scene, Carl. So, you've not been... No, of course not. Oh, no, but you got the wrong end of the stick. Although the right end ain't great either. You can't keep a hold of your own woman. So you make a play for oh, mine. Oh, it's hard oh. to deny. I ought to knock you about this oh. Oh. Lift up. I'm not proud of it. Let go of him! Don't panic, I'm here. Look. I made a mistake. I, I misjudged everything. Let him go. You're bad. Oh, Carl. No, fine. Fine, that's fair enough. I don't think I should work for you anymore. I'm not going to work for him anymore. Oh, come on, why should you suffer? Because I don't want to work for a bloke who tries to steal his mate's girlfriend. Girlfriend? Oh, look, fine, OK, I accept your resignation, but the very heavy heart. You are lower than a snake's belly. Look, I'm, I'm sorry for everything. I hope we can still be, you know, but mates, if it's possible, go on, get out. Refuse to shake his hand. Really sorry, Stella. I'm sorry too. Lloyd? You're, you're the social worker. Where's Miriam? On holiday. I'll call at a more convenient time. No, please, wait. I'll shift it. I'll come back when things are a little calmer. Oh, how about I give you this to say sorry? No, you're paying for that. No, Wait. I've got biscuits. Oh. Now look what you're flipping, John. Hey, get off your daft little mare. <laughs> Leave her alone. Hey, Jess, you hurt yourself, muzzles. Yeah. Well, get one to fit her, will you? Do not insult my wife. Hey, get off me. You'll be wearing your bitches a bubble hat. Oi. You are so going to regret that. 